Well, I can't tell if it's recording or not. <sighs> Got my coffee. I don't know what day today is. Um, it's too early. I just got up. Um, got all the floor joists ripped out that are rotted, except that one. I've got to get it. But I've been finding creative ways to get everything out so I can replace it. But I realized I haven't given you guys a tour of the property. All I've shown you is this ugly old house, which I'm making beautiful again. So that's the lumber that we got to replace the floor with. I got concrete whatevers to hold those 4x4s up because whoever built this house 87 years ago just found rocks around the property and used them as floor support. I don't know what they were thinking. I guess they thought it was a temporary structure. This is our old shed. I have to replace all the walls and the doors on that, but it has been a tremendous resource. It has a little overhang, and underneath I've got like my jack and my mower, which we tried to sell that when we were still in Oklahoma. Nobody wanted it, and it's like brand new. We've driven it for maybe 10 hours. I used to mow around my greenhouse with it. That's our burn barrel with most of the rotted wood. That thing has come in so handy. Hopefully one day I can do away with it, but right now it's keeping the clutter off of my property. That's the dilapidated structure I was talking about um, in one of my previous videos. It has, um, over there on the left, it has a, a roosting boxes or whatever. It needs a little bit of work, but I actually think I'm going to just take it down and reuse the lumber elsewhere. Maybe use those pallets for a uh, comp excuse me, compost. But in here, we've got feeding box, nesting boxes. Um, so somebody had chickens here at some point. Now, we left a bag of garbage outside the back porch by accident one night and the entire bag is missing. So I don't know what kind of creature took it, but here's part of the barn. These are just stalls. There's like um, a screen material, which will come in excellent whenever we have our rabbits. Uh, there's quite a bit of it around. Um, because we'll put it underneath the, their cage and it'll collect their poop into a bucket, but there's just stalls, three stalls, because the previous owners had horses. I'm going to find a different use for them, maybe put my goats in there, I don't know. I'm not going to have horses. I found a couple of doors. Um, I took the door off of here uh, because we needed to get the fridge out of the back of the truck, but I found a door. Um, I may end up using this door to... Uh, put here. I haven't decided yet, but I found another one that whenever we go back to Oklahoma to get my greenhouse, I'm gonna... Can't spill my coffee, it's important. I may use the other door for my greenhouse. Goodness gracious, this door is stout. Oh. Anyway, I have to rip up the floor because it's all coming up anyway and it's rotted. I mentioned building a loft, but Ricky discovered there's already one. Um, I didn't notice it when we were here briefly checking out that place, but there's junk. There's like an antique refrigerator back there, and saddles, and this is a huge board that's been uh, planed uh, by whoever lived here. It's still got the bark on it. Um, just, But I'm going to rip all this out. I don't even know if I'm going to leave this wall but you have to be creative. Uh, but upstairs, not upstairs, up in the loft, oh, excuse the darkness, <sighs> there's more junk, tires and stuff. I'm going to have to do some repairs. There's a board missing. But I found all kind of horse-drawn plow bits and oh, stuff. But anyway, we, um, I don't know how they, 
assess land, but apparently the last time this land was assessed was 40 something years ago and they assessed it at uh, 10 acres, but then they're saying that it's 7.3, but then there's another document saying that it's 11.7, so we don't know how many acres we buy and we might pay a surveyor to do it again, but like a third of it is forest. So all the deep forest is mine. And um, there's treasures just inside the trees. Uh, there's an old rabbit cage. I cut a little hole in it that I can access it. Uh, there's like a, a creek that runs down there. There's already fencing. Um, over here there's barbed wire and it wraps all the way down to like a corner there and then it comes across here and there's a little shed uh, and then there's like electric fencing that continues on out to the street but our property is a huge triangle and then over there there's a square that sticks off of the triangle but the house faces north and it's beautiful it's so beautiful to watch the sun rise and set over the neighbor's field the previous owners of this property also owned the 90 acres across the street and right now he has wheat growing, but the realtor said that it's just a cover crop for peas or something because you don't need one of these irrigation things to just for wheat. So she feels they're going to just cut it down and waste 90 acres of wheat, which I could use some of that if they're just gonna burn it into the ground is what she said by pouring chemicals on it. Oh, here comes my dog. Hey, Snow! <laughs> she loves it here. We were worried she wouldn't like it, but she loves running around in the field. Oh, you're so good! But it's just... <clears throat> it's just gorgeous. Waking up in the morning, drinking some coffee, looking out over this... Go get out of the road, Snow! Snow! Get out! Um, looking out over this huge field of wheat. In Oklahoma, this would be completely flat, but here, there's just roll, slowly rolling hills, because we're like in the middle of Tennessee on the south by Alabama, but that is as far as I have explored. I don't know everything that's in my small forest over here. <clears throat> I do know that I'm going to leave a majority of it because I want to create a safe haven for animals. I'm going to plant um, fruit trees and bushes and other things that they can eat and hopefully keep them out of my garden because <coughs> I'm going to put my garden on the south side of the house and I'm going to use a no-dig method using straw and manure. You may have seen something similar on Dirt Patch Heaven's channel <coughs> or others. I've seen a variety of people uh, talking about these lasagna beds, or raised beds. <coughs> and what I've determined, <coughs> you don't need manure, it's awesome to have manure, but any brown between your layers of straw is sufficient. If it's dirt, if it's manure, it, it's all the same. <coughs> I've seen many people try it, and use trial and error to determine that it's straw, brown, straw, brown. So, Oh, did I show you my... Until I build uh, my compost pile. This grass is getting so tall I need to order my scythe on Amazon. <coughs> Until I build my compost pile. These are the leaves... <coughs> excuse me. They were up against the house where I discovered it was draining into the house. And um, I found these wire cages that may have been used for feeding. And I just shoveled it in there, and I haven't put any dirt or water in it yet, but it did rain on them. But either way, they'll uh, eventually rot, and they'll rot down to virtually nothing. They look like they take up so much space, but once they rot down, it'll be nothing. So I need to get a good compost pile started. But um, that's my property.
I wanted to describe when we entered Tennessee. I can't tell if it's the catalpas that are in bloom or what, but it just smells so sweet. Just it just smells good. Like flowers everywhere. Feels like it's taking all day, but I've got two done and I've got one, two, three, four and a half to go. I've found some more rotted lumber, threw it down in the basement, I'll fix it later. But one step at a time. I got all most of the mess cleaned up, but I'm just ready to be done. Looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. I've got one little bitty space over there that I'm going to go crossways. But otherwise, it's almost ready for the plywood. I got pressure treated everything. Well, I'm getting the plywood down. I finished that section. I've got two sheets of plywood in here. Um, it's been such hard work, but it looks like after two days I'll be finished. Um, well, with the floor, the sub floor. Then we have to do the flooring, but we're not going to do that until we do all the other floors that need to be replaced. Like, excuse my messy house, we haven't even started unpacking. Uh, there's a, well you can see the moldings ruined, but there's a dip there, um, so it's probably, and it shakes, so it probably needs to be repaired. Excuse my bedroom. This whole, look, ew, it used to have termites, so a lot of the wood that I'm replacing is termite wood, but ugly laminate everywhere. Over there under our dirty clothes there's like a hole. But anyway, I'm just happy about this. And I've started taking the paneling down and there's sheetrock so I'm going to use the paneling up in the attic. Um, Can I make it? Because whoever it's partially finished, but they used cardboard. And there's a wall over here, but it's not a wall, it's a cardboard. And I don't know why these are here, but who? But this, I can't wait to get to this. This is the word burning stove. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. It's very dark up here. I haven't figured out the electricity. I keep blowing circuits, but very, very, very old uh, wood burning stove. Um, lots. Of, there's the paneling that I'm going to put up. Look at that cardboard. Who's? And apparently somebody was living up here. I haven't had much time to explore. Ricky just bought me a brand new camera. I wish I could show it to you, but I'm recording with it. I also got a 64 megabyte micro SD card, gigabyte, sorry. So we're in Alabama shopping because it's only 15 minutes from the house. So we spent way too much money. I got a whole bunch of garden tools. I don't know if you can see those. Rake and a level and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm pretty excited. And I've worked really hard today. I quit around five after working 12 hours straight. I'm not completely finished with the floor, but I have to build a staircase into the basement before I can finish the last um, plywood sheet. So, but we can actually get through the house now because the stairwell room leads to every other room in the house. So I, that's why I did it first. So that's where we are.